Welcome back to Creeper World 4. We've got our second mission ready now. It's Farsight. Except we have a bit of a problem with our digital assistant here. Okay, so apparently we're at not Farsight. That's, uh, that's not good. Unpause here. Well, we're kind of... Here's the Rift Lab, and that looks interesting. Yes, indeed. Let's get some towers rolling. And, of course, I can place them over here, but they're not connected. I want to make sure I keep these connected. Build towers and connect to it. That seems like a decent plan. One out of 42 valid checksums. That's, um, that's bad. We have a, a serious issue with sp spelling here, whoever you are. 702 yarns. Since the last ceremonial archive. Sing praise to a tongue of ancient. Yeah. Cannon enabled where none was before. Okay. Of course, I still don't know where we are, but the creeper is rising. Let's let's get a cannon over here because that's not looking too healthy. And throw a couple down here. We must find Great Mother. They require Mother. How... What the heck is Mother? Okay. Clearly I'm not supposed to know yet. This is... This is bizarre. But nonetheless, I do want to keep building more towers. <laughs> That's a little... A little on the nose there. I want this. Okay. And now we're firing away with our cannons. Some of them. Let's let's, let's move you over here. And maybe yeah, that should work. Creeper graph. Okay, so we're at. Eleven and a half thousand creeper right now. So we move our cannon over here. And by the way, you got a lot of the same movement controls as before. If you double click, you can select multiple of that type. You can create a squad out of them. We can do this right here. Just, you know, box select. So a lot of those types of things imported from the previous versions of the game. So, yeah, I don't want to build any more than that due to our energy situation. Alright, let's see. I think I need to get... a little bit closer to the edge with some of these. Let's just throw you, like, there, maybe? I just want to not get overrun on the rim. See, this is coming up over here and I don't like that. That should work. Maybe move one here. And then one around here. Oh, okay. I did not properly guard that area. Let's move you out there and replace the tower there. Okay, and now this was almost up to 12,000. It's actually now going down. So we are now 
producing enough firepower to reduce the overall creeper level. And I really like that as just sort of... Because in the previous, like in Creeper World 3, you would have to mouse over a particular depth of creeper and then, you know, try to just watch it and figure out if you were actually reaching that equilibrium point and making headway. And now we can actually see it. So yeah, now we're down to a little over 11,000. We've got that display. Now to get over here, I think I want to hop over, because look at the contours here. If it may, if I hop over here and come across that way, I think it's probably best. We've got a mitter here, we've got a mitter here. And we've got this thing over here, and if we look really close, let's take a look at, we've got that rotating box, and there's something similar to that down here. It says, supply pod liftic, nearly a thousand. I think that's one of the Easter eggs that's in the demo. So let's see if we can get to that liftic. I do want more, let's uh, throw up towers. Just a little bit more here. And this is coming over this way. I don't like the looks of that. I definitely want more cannons. We're okay, but I do want to get rolling with more of them nonetheless. Alright, let's move one there and then I want to get the rest of these out this way and you over here why don't you you move up to the edge you move up to the edge There we go. Let's maybe get another tower out this way. That should be a useful location. Yeah, although this right here, I'm not sure. I think we'll be okay with that cannon there. Okay. So, yeah, we're clearing out a nice area in this direction. Let's just keep this right on trucking. Yeah, right up there on the edge of this would be a really good place for a weapon, I do believe. And then we just keep moving the rest of these forward. I'll throw up a few more. I think I will eventually need them. So lots and lots of cannons. They're pretty short-ranged and not super powerful, but in enough numbers, they appear that they will definitely do the trick. So, yeah, let's put you there. We should not need any more in that direction. I think these are just like obstacles and debris. I don't think they actually do anything, at least nothing that I have yet been able to discern. Now there's a there's a connection there. Now we need to defend that. If I do something like this, that should defend it long term. We're down to under 8,000 now. Major reduction in the creeper from where we started. But we are not... Yeah, we just still got the red packets for supply. We're not actually doing anything with this yet. So, we need to press on now, but we've made our connection in that direction. Let's see, let's send you over here. I'm just trying to grab as many of these as are not needed. Okay. And then we're going to put some more towers across here. Let's really just build out on this. Now up to producing 11 energy. I think I want just to put one on each side here. Definitely want one aiming into that basin. And then if I grab the rest of these, 
You can be my attack group over here. You know what? It's always a good idea in pretty much whenever you can do it in the Creeper World games to just have extra spare weapons in case you need to deploy them somewhere. That way you don't get overrun if there's a surprise. And of course, I don't expect that to happen here, but still. Alright, so let's move... Let's get you right up there on that edge. This is, this is looking a little better. Okay, now we can start moving down into this area. Although I think maybe I want one over there. I actually shouldn't need it there anymore. Nah, just for that little bit. Okay. Let's extend our towers into this area. Before I go after this, I do want to slide over here to that. And if you've seen Creeper World 3 before, you'll notice this pyramid shape, it's very familiar. You could power those types of pyramids and you would get like a shield or you would get anti-creeper coming out of them. So that was always an interesting thing. And I'm wondering if this is a reference that okay let's get let's see I think I can spare you and you you can move up here and you as well and so we can see this emitter has really been dominated and it's drying up The other thing we can see here with our cannons, if we look over here on the left, we've got... Now, the, apparently this avoid creeper thing is because some of the elevations can be so extreme when you're moving your weapons around, they can actually fly into parts of creeper, so that's what that's for. Target priority creeper or mesh. I believe mesh is probably a return of the digitalis, then we can decide whether we're going to build them, arm them, you know, whether we're going to have supply on all of those things. Are very similar, so we can micromanage if we need to. But, of course, here, that really does not appear to be necessary. Alright. So, you know what? I want to move this around. Get a better angle. And then I don't... Oh, we're not... This tower is a little too far away. We're not actually connected. That's my problem. Okay, so I need one here. Watch your tower connections. Now, these, because these, uh, you see how we've got the white and the red? The red is sort of the end of the line for a connection. And so it's connected here, but we're not seeing it there. There we go. Now we're starting to get ammunition in here. Construction. So let's build another tower. And I really should be able to move out this way more aggressively. Let's do that. Less than 6,000 creeper on the map. Continues to slowly recede from our unstoppable attacks. Okay, now we should be hooked up to this. Once this tower gets in place, that is. Here we go. We get these little bits of stuff coming in, and now they're pushing out. And you see this little bit here? This is a shield coming out from the pyramid to help us. Now, on the other hand, there's only so much lifting. Like, there's still a lot of it there, almost a thousand. But I probably don't want to hang around here forever. I would surmise, though, that this can handle this emitter here by itself. And if so then I can relocate all of my cannons. So 
So let's build another tower. Right there. And we'll throw up another one there just for good measure. This, like something like there would probably be a good, just to make sure. <laughs> Mother. ADA version 242, executable modules found, four more valid checksums. And I think we know exactly who beat us here. I think it's the return of Platius. He who projects a finite existence. Database will upgrade over time. No rift carrier signal, don't know our exact location. We're not in the Earth or Farsight systems. Return to Mars launch station, not working. Jump drive error, I'm shocked. We need a rift carrier signal. Okay. Mother need rift assist. It almost looks like they're talking about us as mother, but we have to we had to find mother and mother was not with the founders. So yes, praise be the founders, liftic to totems activate. Okay, so we're back to using the totems. This is liftic. Yep, we already we already got it. And then this is another totem. Another to Oh, okay, here's the first one. Okay, so we need these two we need to grab we have to get Liftic to both of them in order to be able to get the Rift Carrier signal and leave. Is that how this works? Okay. So, let's see. Let's grab our cannons over here because we need to push off that way. And, yeah, you're no longer needed either. That should be plenty. And then this way, I think we've got enough to just build across and connect and then actually over here we probably do too let's just totem totem or tower tower over to the totem so that should be a pretty quick wrap up of that I would think yeah and look at this just spreading all, all over it's it is really doing a number nice shield All right, that totem over there already working, and see this little thing moving up the uh, the yellow spire or tower, whatever, in the middle of that totem. There we go. It's activated. We have a rift signal. Jump drive has been reinitialized. Initialized. The jump resolver is confirmed to target at the Mars launch site. So we're actually going to go back to Mars, which is covered with Creeper. I'm not sure that's the wisest course of action, but uh, yes. Interesting, they pronounce quest right. They write quest right here, but it's I think they meant it to be misspelled again because it's quest with a W in the bottom. Anyway, Rift Jump. Yay. We win. Go far sight. Okay, so now we are going. We're going home. That should be interesting. And uh, I imagine unpleasant things to happen there, given the state of Mars when last we saw it. But we'll see what's going on there in the next episode. Tell them thanks for watching, everybody. More of the Creepy World 4 app alpha tech demo coming up soon.